Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed and youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now to the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, you who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are Israelites, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord even before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of light. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he received the promise of the Holy Spirit from the Father and poured him forth as you see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Lord, you will show us the path of life. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord even before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Lord, you will show us the plan of life. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, 
nor will you suffer your faithful want to undergo corruption. Lord, you will show us the path of life. You will show me the path to life, abounding joy in your presence that delights at your right hand forever. Lord, you will show us the path of life. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you invoke as Father him who judges impartially according to each one's works, Conduct yourselves with reverence during the time of your sojourning, realizing that you were ransomed from your futile conduct, handed on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a spotless and blemished lamb. He was known before the foundation of the world, but revealed in the final time for you, who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him and replied, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since he took place, 
Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find this body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those within us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. As it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it and gave gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Isang mabiyaya at punong-puno ng tuwa at galak na dapit hapon sa inyo pong lahat. If your memory is quite functioning, the gospel reading that we read, binasa po ito nung hapon ding ganito ng uh, linggo ng muling pagkabuhay. At nireplay po ito nung araw ng Merkules ng Octave Days of Easter. Kaya naman sa ating pagkakatipong ito, ating pong ilagay sa ating imahinasyon, sa ating guni-guni nung ang ating Panginoong Jesus ay kapiling ng kanyang mga alagad, nagpipiraso ng tinapay sa huling hapunan. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. The road to Emmaus. Uh, hindi po ninyo na itatanong uh, dyan sa komidor ng uh, National Shrine. Meron dyang malaking picture ng mga alagad na Jesus na taga Emmaus. Sana po naman pagka kayo'y naghahapunan, kayo'y nagkukwentuhan. Hindi yung kayo ay nakatunganga sa monitor ng television o kaya naman nung inyong 
cellphone. Minsan po ako'y napapunta sa isang uh, pagtitipon. Merong performer doon sa stage. Meron din silang guest speaker na nananalita. Alam po ninyo ang audience, hindi doon nakatingin. Nagtunga nga sila sa kanilang monitor ng cellphones. Ganun po na ba ang ugali natin? na tayo'y walang pitagan o kaya'y pagkilala sa ating uh, ginagawa. Yung pong tinatawag nating the art of storytelling, pakibigkas nating muli, the art of storytelling. Nagkukwentuhan pa ba kayo sa inyong pamamahay? Nung araw, merong kwento ang lolo at lola. Hindi ko malimutan yung kwento ni Lola Basyang. Ang isang butihing magulang, bago matulog ang kanilang mga supling, nagkukwento. The art of storytelling. And much more developing the art of listening. Pakibigkas natin muli. The art of Listening. Sa paaralan, dapat innovative ang isang professor o teacher na meron siyang kapasidad na maganda yung pagtuturo at paghuhubog. Not just doing the lesson planning, but much more, the capacity to impart Learning to the learners. Kaya ang isang teacher, kinakailangan meron siyang pedagogical skills. Pakibigkas po natin muli. Ang teacher ay dapat mayroong pedagogical skills to enter the world of the children. Otherwise, kung wala kang kapasinad na pumasok sa mundo ng mga paslit, mga musmus na bata, hindi ka tunay na teacher, hindi ka tunay na facilitators of learning. Ay kita po ay matatanda na ano ang kailangan natin? Andragogical skill. Pakibigkas po natin muli. Andragogical skills. Learning the adult to self-directed learning. Pakibigkas natin muli. Learning, facilitating the adult to self-directed learning. Pagkat marami po sa atin, sarado ang isip, sarado ang puso, aayaw makinig. Pagkat tayo ay full of ourselves. Kaya hamon sa atin ngayon, Non-violence communication. Pakibigkas po natin muli. Non-violence communication. At hindi niyo na itatanong ang April 22 ay Earth Day. Our Mother Earth. Kilala pa ba ninyo o may pitagang kayo sa ating Mother Earth? Tayo ba ay mabubuting mga anak? Si Pope Francis sa kanyang napakagandang encyclical, Laudati Si, ay inilahad niya ang concern for our common home. Pakibigkas po natin muli, concern for our common home. Nakakaranas tayo ng climate changes Maalinsangan, mainit ang panahon pagkat nasa critical danger ang ating kapaligiran. Marami ang nakakadanas ng pagkapugto ng buhay. At kung wala kang kapasidad, life-sustaining habitat, 
Naalala ko tang school, kinakailangan may environment of learning. Pero sa buhay natin, environment that is conducive to life, pakibigkas po natin, environment that is conducive to life, hindi ang utak ay digmaan. Gayon ba ang takbo ng utak ninyo at kalooban? Puro kapusukan. Puro pag... pagsamlang at pagsalaula sa buhay. Mayroon pa po ba kayong pagpapahalaga sa buhay? Itong araw na ito ay nag-aanyaya sa ating manumbalik sa pinagmumulan ng buhay. At si Heso Kristong muling na buhay, binibigyan po kita ng bagong buhay. Kaya yung salita at gawain ni Kristong muling na buhay ay dapat nasa sa ating buhay. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Paglalakbay papunta sa Emmaus. Ano ba ang location ng Emmaus? Marahil po ay hindi north of Jerusalem nor east of Jerusalem, kundi westward of Jerusalem. Kung saan lumulubog yung araw na roon. At yung po'y magandang backdrop sa ating pagkatao. Bakit? Sapagkat ito'y tumuturo sa atin. The darkness of the soul. Pakibigkas po natin muli. The darkness of the soul. Yung mga alagad ng ating Panginoong Jesus ay lumong-lumo. Prostrated. Pagkat yung kanilang iniidolo yung kanilang guro ay namatay. Kaya, pinanghihinaan sila ng loob. Devastating experience. Trauma. At ito po ay buhay natin. Pagkat ang buhay natin ay may tuwa, may galak, may dusa, may pighati. At para pong ito'y misteryo ng Santo Rosario. Joyful, sorrowful, then the glory. Pero, kandahirap tayong mahalwat yung buhay natin karakaraka ay magkakamayro ng tuwa at galak. Sino ba naman ang matutuwa na napuputol ang mga punong kahoy? The funeral of the trees. Ang environment natin, ang dagat, ilog, kapaligiran, winawasak ng makasariling sagustuhin ng status quo. Sa buhay pamilya, aayaw mo nang makaranas ng hirap, pero sa mataas na bilihin at pagsasamantala ng mga walang pakundangan sa kapwa, para bagang wala na kitang kapwa na masasandigan ng lakas. Si Jesus pumasok sa eksena ng buhay ng mga naalagad na naglalakbay. Bakit kayo nalulungkot? So nagkwento yung mga alagad na yon ng kwento ng buhay. Inihinga, kumbaga, ang kanilang seeming difficulties and problems. Krisis sa buhay. Life is difficult. And the only baggage that we could carry in order to alleviate that difficulties is the discipline of love. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Mabigat ang buhay kahit pa kayong magkatandem na mag-asawa, eh, para bagang si Mister, napakahirap buhatin ng kanyang may bahay. At si Mister din, kandahirap buhatin 
ang kanyang may bahay para maibsan at maging maalwan ang buhay. Yung po ay nagiging mabigat kung kita'y nagiging makasarili. Pero kung ikaw ay gumagawa ng mabuti, devoted ka sa iyong pagmamahal, tapat ka, nagiging magaan ang pagdadala ng buhay. Kaya naalaala natin, the road less travel. Ang daan na iilan lamang ang dumadaan. Bakit? Sapagkat ang daang yun ay daan ng pagmamahal. Kung yun ang binabagtas mo, your journey will be light, easy. Pagkat sabi ng ating Panginoon, ang pamatok ko ay magaan. Empathetic ako. Naiintindihan ko kayo. Kaya, ikwinento ang lahat-lahat. Naliwanagan sila pagkat ipinahayag ni Jesus ang banal na kasulatan. Pag po kayo'y nagkukwentuhan sa bahay, ano ba ang pinagkukwentuhan ninyo? Sana naman ay kayo'y nagbibibliyarasan. Minsan man lamang sa isang linggo, magkameron tayo ng samasamang pagdadasal, samasamang pag-aaral ng ating pananampalataya, ang kwento ng ating buhay. Faith witnessing to. Kahapon, eh, nagdidiwang ang mga Muslim Katumbas din yun ng ating apat na pong araw na kwaresma. Purification of our thoughts. Purification of our memories. Retrieval. Pagkat nais natin wellness and healing of our memories. Like that of the disciples of Amos. Kinakailangan nila, at lalo na po ito, wellness and healing of our bodily integrity. Pakibigkas natin muli, wellness and healing of our bodily integrity. Pagkat yung ating integridad nadusta ng kasalanan, kaya kanda hirap tayong umusad, humakbang para sa buhay. Naging dayok-dok tayo sa kasalanan. Pero kung ikay nagbabagong buhay, nagiging maalwan ang buhay at pagkakabuhay. Grasya ka sa iyong kapwa. Grasya ka sa iyong mga magulang. Mga magulang, grasya sa kanilang anak. Asawa, grasya sa kanyang may bahay o sa kanyang esposo. Ngayon pong araw na ito, simula din ng nobena sa karangalan ni San Jose, St. Joseph the Worker. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoong Diyos. Santo Patron ng mga kalalakihan, si St. Joseph, Saint, Patron Saint, Good Provider, tayo rin po, yun din ang ating uugaliin, Good Provider, para ang ating mga kasama sa pamamahay nakakapagtamasa ng buhay na ganap kasiya-siya. Kaya our Lord Jesus Christ had a timely interruption to our movements. And today, we are invited to travel our life's journey in faith Revitalize faith. Masiglang pananampalataya. Buhay na buhay na pananampalataya. Pananampalatayang napupusmus ng tuwa at dalak pagkat ang tunay na kristyano tagapagdala ng mabuting balita ng kaligtasan. Tayo po nagtasasalusalo sa hapag ng salita ng Diyos. Sa hapag ng Huling hapunan, dapat mabuksan ang ating 
mata ng pananampalataya. Ang mabuksan ng ating pag-iisip, ang ating pagkatao na maramdaman natin si Kristo'y kapiling natin sa tuwing tayo'y nagpipira-piraso ng tinapay. Yung pagsabi po ninyo ng Amen at pagsasabi ninyong si Kristo'y namatay, si Kristo'y muling nabuhay. This is the center of our faith at yung ating pagdalo sa lingguhang pagdiriwang ay pag-igib ng bagong lakas at pag-asa upang ang grasya ng buhay na ganap kasi si ay tamasahin natin tuwi na. So we keep on journeying together with the risen Lord and our hearts acquire its fervor, its stamina in order to continue our life's journey in faith, in hope, in love, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us rise and proclaim our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son our, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as we journey together towards the fulfillment of God's kingdom, let us remember that Jesus walks, accompanies, and cares for us. Mindful of this, let us pray, stay with us, O Lord. Stay with us, O Lord. For the Church, the custodian of God's Word, May she constantly explain it with clarity so that the minds of people may be enlightened and their hearts motivated to put into practice. Let us pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, us, O Lord. For the Holy Father Francis and the other leaders of the Church, through their teaching, may they lead us to an ever greater awareness of the reality of the resurrection and its relevance to our lives. Let us pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord. Lord. For all parents and teachers, in imitation of the risen Christ, may they fill the hearts of their children and pupils with peace, joy, and the desire to become better persons. Let us pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord. Lord. For all those who feel crushed by life's setbacks and disappointments, May they find the risen Christ, the enlightenment, and encouragement experienced by His two disciples of Emmaus. Let us pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, us, Lord. For all of us who participate in this Eucharistic celebration, may we be fully aware of the presence of the risen Christ in it and experience the urge to proclaim the good news to people near and far. Let us pray. Stay, Stay with, with us, Lord. Lord. Let us also include in our prayers all the devotees of Santo Padre Pio, those who are coming here asking for wellness and healing, as well as those who are receiving the sacrament of penance, yung kumpisalan and all the sacraments that the Church 
provide for our sustainability and nourishment, we pray to the Lord. Stay, Stay with, with us, us Lord. Lord. Let us also pray for all those who are celebrating their birthdays, their anniversaries, and devotion to the Divine Mercy, devotion to St. Joseph the Worker, as well as the other devotions, especially Marian devotion, the upcoming Flores de Maria, uh, we, and the uh, devotion to the Holy Cross, uh, we pray to the Lord. Stay, Stay, with, Stay us, with us, Lord. Lord. Lord Jesus, we thank you for having made yourself our fellow traveler in the journey of life. Dispel our doubts, suit our pains, break your bread of life with us until we reach our lasting destination in heaven, where you live and care forever and ever. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection basket. The table of the Peace Lord is them. now ready. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To whom you have lifted up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads us, our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together this unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewpal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, as well as those who are in the service of evangelization, the missionaries, the catechists, the children, the youth, the families, as well as those in various uh, ministries, especially those who are in advocacy for social justice and peace, advocacy for care, stewardship of life, of our creation and the environment as well as those who are in advocacy for non-violence communication. Those who are in the various sectors of our society, the farmers, the fishermen, and all those who are working in the various seas and oceans throughout the world, as well as the laborers, workers, people in various professions as well as the overseas Filipinos, those who are in public and government service, those who are in the field of academe, especially those who are having their uh, accomplishment of uh, academic requirements, examinations, those who are taking up board exams, according to the professions they wish to be, as well as those who are in poverty, those who are ministering, the victims of wars, calamities, accidents, those who are working in the hospitals, clinics, and people of various walks of life, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. The souls in purgatory for Rosario Roldan Bendua. Our departed members of the families and those people who have been part of our lives Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Alonso, Santo Padre Pio, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors yours forever and ever. Baptized in water and Holy Spirit, we become God's children. And so we have the courage to sing the prayer of God's family. us, Lord, from, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With joy, love, and forgiveness, we offer each other the sign of peace and Easter evening blessings.
those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy not that you should enter, enter under, my under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offerings. Let us pray. Please all stand. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you, you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their place the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia! The Son of Merited to Bear, Alleluia! As reason as He said, Alleluia! Pray for us to God, Alleluia! Amen. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia! For, for the, the Lord, Lord is truly risen, risen. Alleluia! Let us pray. O God, through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you have made glad the whole world. Grant we beseech you through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of eternal life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Glory Amen. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Pray. Panalangin ang pagtitiwala kay Santo Padre Pio. Padre Pio, taga Pietro China, Mongheng Banal, Pintakasing Santo ng Milenyong Kasalukuyan. Gabay namin sa pagtahak sa landasing makalangit. Takbuhan sa pangangailangan, huwara ng pagtitiis. Sa iyo namin inilalapit aming mga kagipitan. Sa iyo po ibinibilin kalusugan at kabuhayan. Di man karapat dapat kami po ay pagbigyan. Bendisyonan at basbasan maging ganap sa buhay. Lumayo nawa kami umiwas sa kasalanan. Lumapit lagi sa Diyos, maging matatag at matibay. Sa mabuting balita ng pagliligtas, turuan mo kami nawa. Sa tuwi na ay makinig, magnilay at sumampalataya. Amin pong pakiusap itong mga kahilingan. Puso ay nagsisisi, nagtitikang taintiman. Di na muling magkasala, sunod lagi sa Diyos amang. Kaysa ng Espiritu at ni Jesus na tagapamagitan. Amen. Tayo po muna ay magsuupo para sa mga patalastas. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Opening ng ating Kapiyo Osteria ay mahigpit tayong pinaalalahanan sa ating panawagang Claygo or Clean as Shugo. Sa lahat ng lugar sa loob ng pambansang Dambana, lalo tigit sa Osteria. Pinaalam din po sa lahat na gamit ang main arc entrance. Tayo ay may malalaking free parking dito sa loob ng pambansang Dambana. Bukas po, araw ng linggo ay kadalawampu-tatlo ng buwan. Araw ng pagpapagaling sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio. Ang mga healing masses po at healing liturgy na may pagagawad ng langis ay sa ganap na ikasyam ng umaga at ikalima ng hapon. Wala pong misa ng ikaapat ng hapon at ikaanim ng gabi. 
Mga kapiyo, bahagi ng pagdiriwang ng karawan ni Padre Pio ngayong ikadalumpot lima ng Mayo, tayo ay magkakaroon ng car raffle dito sa Pambansang Dambana. Ito ay fundraising program upang matulungan ang ating mga scholar ni Pio. Mari kayong makabili ng tiket sa pamisahan sa HR office o sa mga nakaistation sa paligid ng simbahan sa halagang limandaang piso lamang. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatiliin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas ng religious articles. Ang tumutulong sa atin ay ang Panginoon na may gawa ng langit at sandibutan. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo maging kawangis si Kristo sa time team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagkapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan, langis, religious articles and items na nagpapalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dubulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoong Iso Kristo at ng mga banal magpasawalang hanggan Amen, Amen. Ang banal na tubig na wang ito ay magpaalaala ng pagkikisa sa kamatay at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo sa sakramento ng binyag Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang ngalan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Aba Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Aba Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Aba Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ng iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Papuri sama sa anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Papuri sama sa anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Ako po si Reverend Father Ulysses Santos Valenzuela Ribamonte mula po sa Marinduque, Diocese of Bua. Nagadiwang po kami sa May 10, ng ikaapat na putlimang taong anibersaryo ng Diocese of Bua. At bilang landmark o alaala ng nasabing pagdiriwang, may ipinatatayo po kaming bahay pari na magsisilbing tahanan ng mga nag-retire na pari at lalo na po yung mga may karamdaman. Kaya kami po ay humihingi ng inyong pagmamahal, tulong at donasyon sa ipinagagawang bahay pari. Salamat po. At uh, nag-aanyaya rin po ako sa mga nais magmadre. April 29, 30, mayroon pong pagtitipon para sa mga kababaihan 
labing limang taong gulang hanggang tatlumput limang taong gulang dalaga ha? para magmadre. Ito po ay sa San Damiano House of Spirituality doon sa may rotonda ng Tagaytay City Franciscan Missionary of Mary San Damiano. Salamat po. Libre po yun, ano? Kaya yung dalawang araw na yun ay accommodated yung mga dalaga 15 years old up to 35 years old for the search in for vocation. Sumain nyo at the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and ask for God's blessings. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Holy Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in all your ways. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Thank you. Alleluia. And once again, Happy Easter.